Howdy folks, and welcome back to Rock the Classical. I'm your host, Ben, and welcome to episode two. If you haven't seen episode one, I suggest you do so, only because I want you to get a better understanding of what to expect out of me and the content that I'm going to be producing for you guys. Today, we're going to be talking about Carl Cherney. Carl Cherney was born out of Austria. He was born in the late 18th century, and he died in the mid-19th century. He was a pupil of Beethoven, Mutio Clementi, which I don't really know who he is, but I will definitely check him out. He was really well known for his teaching style, which he adapted through Clementi and Beethoven. He produced thousands of compositions, sonatas, etudes for his students to play. And his works, I guess, are really great for your hand dexterity, velocity, and just the overall strength of your fingers. So I figured this would be a good start to the channel. So let's dive right into Opus 139, and we'll start on the first exercise. I almost forgot to mention, Go to the description and download the PDF to the Opus. That way you can follow along with me. We're going to be sticking to the first exercise for today. One, two, three, four.
Well, I enjoyed that. I don't know about you guys. Yes, my fingers are a bit achy. They were twisting around in many different ways for about 25 different takes, but it was well worth it. Now I can kind of see why people went to Carl Cherney to build their dexterity and the strength in their fingers. It was fun. Now, I want you guys to download pages 1 and 2 of Opus 1 and 39 and have exercises 1 through 3 well rehearsed. And I want you guys to pay close attention to the numbers above the notes on the staff. They're super imperative because that's kind of how you play Cherney. He wants you to switch fingers around on certain chords. So you may see a 1 and 3. A 1 would be your thumb. Your 3 would be, I'm not going to flick you off, but it would be your third finger or your middle finger. So pay close attention to those numbers because those are really important, guys, for you to build, you know, nimbleness and these voodoo fingers. That's what you want to do. Now, second, pay close attention to the tempo markings. They are in Italian or some other um, language other than mine. I think it's Italian. Exercise one is in moderato, which in the 19th century, which would be in Carl Cherney's time, would be about 84 BPM, beats per minute. Second exercise is allegretto, and that is 100 beats per minute. And in the third exercise, which continues on to page two, is moderato as well, and that is 80 to 84 beats per minute. So pay close attention to those because you want to get those right. Subscribe to Rock the Classical because this is going to be a fun self-building community, right? So it's about challenging yourself and being the best you can. They're not going to be easy. It's going to be tricky. So subscribe once again, like the video, and I'll see you next Monday. That's when we're going to work on exercises one through three. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.